In the last video, I did a comparison of Unity C Sharp with Godot GD Script. And in the comments, a lot of you guys showed interest in seeing the comparison with Unity C Sharp and Godot C Sharp. So today I recreated the B script in Godot with C Sharp and the results were pretty interesting. Before we go to the build version, I want to point something interesting out by playing the game in the editor. Usually you expect the editor to be slower than the build and it is the same in Godot as well. So here I have a hive that will be spawning C sharp bees. So let's start spawning. And as soon as they get to, to 3000, this is where I start noticing a frame rate that is dropping below 60 frames. So if we continue to 5,000, we're running a frame rate of 35 in the editor. Now let's do the same thing with GD script. So at 3,000, we're still running stable 60 frames. And then at 5,000, we start seeing the frame rate dropping below 60. So that's something to note that in the editor, it seems like GD script is running faster than C sharp script. Now let's launch the build version and let's get some more C sharp bees here. So I'm gonna go to 5000 and at 5000 we're running stable 60 frames a second. And if we'll take a look at what we're getting in Unity with C sharp, we're running at around 45 frames per second at 5000 bees. So at the current point, C Sharp is better than Unity with C Sharp. But in the previous video, one of the comments said that I was using a square bound here and in Unity, I was using a circle instead, which made more calculation. So I actually created the circle bound here as well. So let's enable the circle bound. And now the bees are going in the circle, just like I had in Unity. And the frame rate is still as 60. So uh, let's release him back to square. So there isn't a noticeable difference between doing a square bound or a circle bound at 5,000 bees. So let's continue increasing the count. So I'm currently at 7,000 and still we're running around 60 frames a second. And uh, with GD script, we were below 60 by 7,000. So at this point, looks like C sharps actually running faster than GD script. And I'm going to continue and increase it to 10,000. And this is where we start noticing that frame rate is already below 60 frames a second, but it's running at mid to high 50s. And let me enable the circle unbound as well and the frame rate stayed about the same. So the circle bounds and the square bounds, how I have it implemented, they are pretty much equal in the amount of computation that is required. But performance for C-sharp at 10,000 is about what we actually were getting in Unity for 10,000 running ECS. So that is pretty cool that you can run C-sharp in Godot and get as good of a performance as you would with ECS in Unity. In Unity, if I use C Sharp with mono behavior, at 10,000, I was getting around 23 frames a second. So we're getting more than two times the FPS in Godot using C Sharp than in Unity C Sharp you know, using mono behavior. And the last thing that we're going to take a look is how C Sharp in Godot compared to GD Script at 10,000. So let's get those bees flying with GD Script. So with GD script at 10,000, we're getting around 40 FPS. And if I enable the circle bound, we're still running about the same FPS. So we're getting about 15 frames less with GD script than we're getting with C sharp. So that means with the current test setup that I have, C sharp is getting 30% more FPS than GD script. It gets about the same performance if I use ECS with burst compiler running on multi-thread in Unity and it runs two and a half times faster than Unity C sharp using mono behavior. There is another test that I want to run and it is to compare 3D scenes in Godot to Unity 3D scenes because I am currently using a 2D scene. So that's probably in the future video. So be sure to subscribe if you are interested in that and I'll see you in the next one.